my name is Serena Chen. Welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to talk about the, our little friend living in the water, uh, which is a goldfish. Uh, artists like to paint the goldfish because they have a good color and uh, they show all lights in the movement inside the water. Besides that, people like goldfish, goldfish because they remember uh, wealth. Chinese uh, goldfish is gold. Means gold means advantage and the benefit. But uh, anyway, I show you how we can uh, use a simple stroke uh, to paint this little friend. So let's get the start. Thank you. Now I'm going to show you how to do the uh, goldfish with ink style. And uh, of course you can have um, any kind of color you like. And uh, here I just uh, I do the vermilion color. First I just use uh, light ink, uh, draw a few lines. I do the mouth and the head and body. And use the scale to separate, scale to separate, then the stomach. That's how I do. So the next one, it's just the same thing, just do the, then hold the knife, and, uh, and that's it. Then now, I'm going to use a uh, uh, the meaning color, you can use uh, any color fish you feel like to do. And uh, here I just use uh, the meaning color and that uh, deep into medium, not, not to concentrate, medium. Then just uh, lower down the brush, lower the brush line down, then just go over the, the head and the body. And you can see the color is a little light toward the stomach. And now I just fill up the head with a darker color and leave a little room for the eye. And you see your stomach try to go over a little more about the, the hole. And now the same thing, I dip in the middle medium, not too, not too, too much color. Then same thing, you just use your brush, lower down, and you just go over, and the uh, lighter in toward the stomach. And same thing, you just fill up the head. And then leave a little room for the eye. Then tap a little by the stomach part. Now I use a white color. This white color to, to do the stomach and I just blend the inside, blend over. Try to make it more smooth. And now use the lighter remaining color to do the vein, to, to do all the vein. You can swing anything, any way you like. Just a two, top, two, two big one, two small one. And something on the other side. You do the 
thing. This side one. Then the two big ones. Swim in the same direction this way. Then you can either either here and there. So that's all the color on and the body's color. Now I'm going to uh, draw the eye. First, I first you can use. Uh, of course, you can just use black and white. But in here, I use the Try to use a, you can use a stone green or stone blue. I try to put in stone green. I put the stone green to the eye. Now I want to wait for uh, the, the eye to dry a little bit. So I I use this time, I try to do the scale and uh, line the, those things. So I just use white color. So it's just dotting, not the head, the scales on the body, right? So we just dotting, use dotting. And the alternate, see that that this two in the middle of this nine, then that in between. Then to the nine of the thing. So just uh, roughly, just like Chinese painting, my intention is there. Okay. So people know that those are nines. And so we start one. Starting there. Skill. In between. Now I'm making I am also almost dry so I don't know. Put the the, the eyeball. Use a very dark, dark stain. Just put that over. So now basically the fish are finished. So I just try to add a little bit of supporting things. So I put such like a water glass. So I put the, some water glass on. You can use green color, indigo mixed with gumbo. Okay. 
også udbrudt mit private og andre kind. Så so jeg så so der medium size brush. Vi så det der the light ink. Then I put it in this blue. Then just starting. Not too many, just a little bit. So that's a support the, the whole picture. Uh, thank you. I just want to show you this one. See, this one I have a different color. See, you can do the fish in the black color too. Black color, this is a purple color, gold color. Then I add this kind of water glass. So that's why I just want to show you this picture. And then in this one, um, I just like to show you, you can uh, put, the, put the, the background up then you paint the fish, and here you can see I did the, uh, the, uh, the white fish in there. So just a different idea, so uh, what you can do with the paintings. Thank you. Today we see all little fine goldfish. The important is you catch up the, the movement. And the goldfish also can accompany with uh, uh, water grass and uh, water lily and uh, any other subject uh, uh, can complain with them. And uh, up to today, I finished 20 sessions for the uh, basic uh, Chinese brush painting stroke and all the material we need and all so I introduce uh, uh, the four gentlemen, three of the four gentlemen, and all the uh, flowers, other flowers, and the birds. So next uh, session, I intend to go to a very big area uh, to paint, which is uh, the landscaping. Landscaping is a very big art portion about the Chinese brush painting which involves uh, uh, a lot of patience and a lot of practice. I learned from my teacher, so I will show you how to do all the basic uh, ticket techniques. And uh, it maybe take a long time, but uh, it, I think it gets a reward. So we're looking forward to see you all come back and learn this bigger a uh, section of uh, Chinese art uh, landscaping. Thank you for coming so far and support me. Thank you.